Hello everyone, Alan Sens here, and welcome to this segment on ethics and the bomb. Let's get started. Here are the learning objectives for this segment. By the time we're done, you should be able to describe consequentialist and deontological ethical systems. And you should be able to apply both ethical systems to the issue of the making of the atomic bomb. Ethics, or if you prefer, moral philosophy, is the examination and development of concepts of right and wrong and good and bad conduct. Ethical systems, or theories, also form the basis of how we make decisions and how we evaluate good or bad actions. Now, obviously, we can't cover everything here or go into a whole lot of detail, but to generalize somewhat, there are two dominant ethical theories, consequentialism and deontology. Consequentialism holds that the consequences of one's conduct are the most important grounds for any judgment about the rightness of that conduct. From a consequentialist standpoint, a morally right act is one that will produce a good outcome or consequence, irrespective of the means employed. This is often summarized by the expression, the ends justify the means. But remember, the ends must be ethically and morally good. And so the question for you, was the building of the atomic bomb ethical from a consequentialist perspective? Think about that a little bit, and think about the motive for building the bomb as you're thinking about this question. In contrast to consequentialism, deontological ethics, or deontology, holds that it is the nature of the action, or actions, rather than the consequences which determine the rightness of any conduct. The nature of an act, or actions, should themselves be moral. This morality is based on the rules and duties of the actor, the, the person performing the action, and on the rights of others, other people, who might be affected by that action. This approach can be summarized by the expression, act morally, regardless of the consequences. Another way of characterizing this approach would be to say that good ends do not justify evil means. So, in a deontological approach, an act may be considered right even if the act produces a bad consequence, as long as the act or actions followed an appropriate set of rules and respect for others. The most important rule in this context is sometimes called the ethic of reciprocity, or the golden rule that one should do unto others as they would have done unto them. And so the question for you is, was the building of the atomic bomb ethical from a deontological perspective? Does your thought process change when you start thinking about the building of the atomic bomb from either a consequentialist or a deontological perspective? So our learning objectives for this segment were to describe consequentialist and deontological ethical systems, and you should also be able to apply ethical systems to the, both ethical systems, to the issue of the making of the atomic bomb. Well, ethics is a, obviously an enormous subject. Uh, it's very complicated, um, and we've simplified things somewhat but we're going to be working an awful lot with ethics throughout this class. And I thought this was a good opportunity just to introduce some basic ways of thinking about ethics and two basic ethical systems. Uh, obviously, as we go through this entire course, the entire subject of nuclear weapons has a profound moral and ethical foundation to it. And I hope uh, this is a good start. Thanks very much. We'll see you next time.